And a peek into the locker room. Players soaking in the last few moments before the game. Some final preparations here. Season's greetings and Merry Christmas to everyone joining us here at 2K Sports. It's time for a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. Ali, it's all yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, Jalen Brunson, a second-round pick out of Villanova, and his father carved out a nine-year journeyman career in the league as well. Jalen said, quote, how hard he worked just to get unguaranteed contracts showed me that I have to work ten times harder. I thank him for letting me see that at a young age. Guys? Uh, family business. Allie, thanks. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. Taking a look at the 76ers. They've been outstanding halfway through this season, looking cohesive and playing for one another. And, of course, New York, quite a bit of space between these two. Well, for the Knicks, it's really been uh, an intriguing year for them. I mean, they work hard, they play gritty, but they're just so inconsistent. I just think if you're on the other side, how much are you looking at that team and saying, we're scared of them? So not a lot of fear from the opposition and what they're bringing to the table. They're good, they compete, but do they have that extra gear? I'm not sure. Now we'll look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Embiid in at the center position. And for the Knicks, at the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Jalen Brunson is out there with Emmanuel Quickly. And it's Barrett in at the three. Well, Grant, you can't have Christmas without NBA action. You remember your first Christmas Day game? Uh, yeah, I do. And it was in 1996. I had a pretty good game, but we lost to Michael Jordan in the Bulls. They won 69 games that year in the championship, so at least we lost to the best. Now here's Brunson. Now here's Quickly. Randall outside. Fires the three. Joel indeed with the board. Here's Harris. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And the Knicks with possession. Down low. Oh, stolen by Harris. Randall against Maxi. Pass to Harris. Embiid a screen on Brunson. To the right side. Back to Harris. Screen by Embiid. Six to shoot. Harris passes to Embiid. Oh, Robinson with a block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a fan. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. New York with the ball. Quickly outside. To the middle. Here's Randall. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Yeah, Randall's not passing that one up. Fantastic job at converting when he's got the kind of position like that. Backseat passes to Harden. Embiid is screen on quickly. Here's Harden. Robinson with the block. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Harden fires away from outside. Not going to go that time. New York goes the other way with it. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Barron passes to Robinson. Quickly against Harden. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Harris. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Since hiring Tom Thibodeau, every year the Knicks have been at the bottom of the league in pace. Well, Thibs rhymes with grind, doesn't it, B.A.? I mean, it doesn't really, but it should. Shoot two. Just one minute. 
And he drops it first. And quickly drops them both. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Timeout called the 76ers. And he's had a rough past five games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through, and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. Harden finds Stiebel. MD to screen on Barrett. Pass to Embiid. Tries to snap the cold streak. The Knicks with the rebound. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now here's quickly. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Robinson a screen on Harden. Quickly with the ball. Picked up by Embiid. Robinson gets the bucket. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. The Sixers trailing. Outside Maxi. Screen by Embiid. Here's Harris. It's hauled in by Robinson. The Knicks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Now Brunson. Coming off a 12-point game. To the paint. inside. Harris on him. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Pass to Harden. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Takes the three, and Harris gets it to go on the assist by Harden. A solid three-point marksman. Harris has that inside-outside offensive game. And here's Brunson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And it's quickly with a miss. Philadelphia has gone one of four from deep. Quickly against Harden. Pass to Thibault. Shot from the low post is good. Well, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. It's 
So it's the Knicks now. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Four on the clock. From 15 feet away, and he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Now here's Maxie. He had nine points in his last time out. And Harden with the slam. Oh, an athletic move by James Harden. Beating the D and then rubbing it in their face with the slam. Maxie against Brunson. Quickly outside. Robinson, a screen on Harden. Quickly passes to Robinson. To the wing on the left. Randall against Harris. Randall, good. Randall's got six points. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Julius Randall, a nightly double-double threat. A guy who can occasionally drain the three, but when he first entered the league, many considered him just to be a role player. That role has changed. Inside, Harris. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. He's got five. I'm not the biggest player out there, but Tobias Harris confident to get down low, use his frame, and score. Pass to Barrett. And it's blocked by Thibault. Now Harden. Back to Maxi. Outside Harden. Over quickly. Harden misses. Well, since accepting a bigger role, Randall is really blossoming. It's great to see him evolve over time and actually be a just taking on more responsibility. And with the way his game has blossomed, you can see why he's a big part of this game. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Harden pass to Thibault. Outside Maxi. His first shot coming late. Misses off the left iron. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Outside Brunson. And Randall the bucket on the assist by Brunson. And it's a seven-point New York lead. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. And the 76ers call time here. here for New York. Toppin, he's checked in for Robinson. Reddish comes in for Barrett. Fournier's checked in for Brunson. And Rose is subbed in for Quickly. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Harrell's checked in for Joel Embiid. Tucker comes in for Harris. 
Milton's checked in for Theibel, and it's Melton in for James Harden. Outside Milton. Pass to Melton. Maxie with it. Handles in his pocket. Maxie passes to Harrell. Shot clock at six. And Harrell with the strong finish. Well, Harrell gets up there and he uses that long wingspan for the finish. Handle a screen on Melton. Here's Rose. And the layup falls. And the Knicks lead by seven. The big story thus far, how well they shot the rock. Pass to Harold. Back to Melton. No good there. Good D by Rose. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Randall, a screen on Melton. Rose, pass to Randall. Comes up empty down low. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Tucker up top, wide open. The jump shot is good. Tucker just reading the defense, finding the space, and knocking down a jumper. Melton against Rose. Top of the screen on Melton. And there's the lob. Fournier finds Toppin. Back to Fournier. Let's it go from deep. The shot misses. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Clippers. Looking to carry it into this one. And at the offensive end, they were lights out in that game. They found all sorts of ways to punish the deep. Yeah, I love watching that game and in particular their demeanor in their destruction in that game. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Rose against Melton. Pass to Reddish. There's a screen by Toppin. And he parries his first look. Sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. Melton passes to Maxi. No good on the triple. The Knicks with the lead. To the inside. Back to Fournier. Cashes in the 12-footer. Not really one of Fournier's go-to areas, but when you have that kind of range, you can make the mid-range work. 127 left in the first quarter here. For three, Maxi. The Knicks pull it in. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Philadelphia has gone just one of six from downtown. High post Harrell. Randall's there. Melton outside. Harrell the screen. Launches it. Melton misses. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't, despite the miss. No defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that. Pass to Rose. Top of the outside. From outside the arc. The rebound by Maxi. The Sixers trailing. 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Tucker with the ball. Milton up top. Rose grabs the board. Pass to Randall. He can't hit that time. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Six out in front. They're up seven. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment.
Welcome back, one and all, for more NBA Christmas Day action. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for New York. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. Well, one thing standing out right now is just how fearless everybody is in getting to the inside. They're taking advantage of any lane or angle they get to get after it. The backcourt comprised of Brunson and Barrett. Top it out there with Mitchell Robinson. And it's Reddish in at the three. That's the group for New York starting the second. Here's Embiid. Ooh, Robinson with a block. And they get it back. Tyler is screen on Barrett. From deep, Melton. Can't hit that one. New York goes the other way with it. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden with plenty of confidence said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah? Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. MB, good. I like watching MB attack on the inside, using his size and soft touch to capitalize. Outside Robinson. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Brunson passes to Barrett. There's a screen by Toppin. Lets the three fly. Rebound by the 76ers. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And Harden gets the double team. Melton outside. The three. The shot that time, not on target. And New York the other way now. Here's Brunson. Lays it up and banks it in. Brunson's got his first points in this one. And every team has them. Those games where you just don't have it. Why does that happen, Brett? Well, B, I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of the season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. That's pretty much not how they move to bend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow on them. Here's Brunson. Takes it inside. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Reddish against Thibel. Melton outside. From deep. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got four rebounds in the game. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Pass to Barrett. Outside Robinson. And here's Toppin from the arc. Rebounded by James Harden. For Philadelphia, they've gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Drawing the double team. And Obi Toppin gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the Knicks making a change here. Quickly's checked in. Harris has checked in for Philadelphia. Harden against Quickly. Harden pass to Tucker. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Tucker's got five. And that's where Tucker likes to set up camp. He's in those short corners, and he knows what to do with it. Harris against Barrett. Down low. Here's Robinson. Rebound by the 76ers. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Releases. Again, the Sixers score. Such an aggressive offensive player. Harden is ready to shoot whenever he's got the rock. Robinson, a screen on Harden. And he lobs it up to the rim. And a big finish by Robinson. Yeah, throw it anywhere you want. Mitchell Robinson knows what to do. Philadelphia has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. And here's Harden. And 
and it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Toppin. Outside Robinson, and here's Brunson from the arc. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Tucker, out to Harris. Another three for Philadelphia. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. It wasn't an easy road to the NBA for P.J. Tucker, where he spent most of his early career in Europe. Yeah, those first five years, he never gave up on the dream to get back stateside and play in the league. So working hard on his game, understanding his game, and he's been such a great player for this past decade with a ring to show for it. Brunson misses. Philadelphia has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Outside Donald. Pass to Harden. Embiid against Robinson. Embiid passes to Harris. Six on the shot clock. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. And they're trending in the right direction after a rough first quarter from the field. New York trailing. Quickly outside. Screen by Robinson. And it's quickly with a miss. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 17 to 6 run. Harden with it. A 17 point game for him in the win against the Clippers. Outside Tyler. Fires the three. And the 76. There's another three. Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. New York calls timeout. comes in for Brunson. New York has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Quickly outside. Can they get it? Oh, Harris with the block. And every so often, Tobias Harris showing you something defensively and great timing to throw that one away. Top and left side. Clock at six. Here's Randall. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And again, the Knicks missing. The other team just looks more insane and is riding the momentum. The other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end. They can't find a way to get the Embers going. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away. Threatening here. Now here's Fournier. Eight points in his last time out. Quickly from outside. 
No good that time. Philadelphia has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Harris passes to Milton. Back to Harris. The three is up. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. Now a timeout called by New York. in for quickly. the Knicks now. Trailing by 10. Pass to Randall. Outside Fournier. Randall is screen on Maxi. Six to shoot. Here's Fournier. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Montrez Harrell. Yep, up for the shot. Fournier knew that one was coming as he got knocked off. But the whistle blew. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 76ers. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this Take league, break. you have to Take connect break. from deep. And Take they shot. have been thus far. I love the passing that they displayed at the start of the game. Great ball movement. That's opening up some chances without really getting deep into the execution. That's good from Fournier. And Evan Fournier is the longest tenured NBA player out of France. There were 10 French-born players during the 21-22 season. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And Fournier from France, one of the countries on the rise in the basketball world, Brent. No question. I mean, Canada has become a clear number two to the U.S. Then it's France, Australia, Germany with lots of guys in the league. Evan Fournier, a big reason we'll see more Frenchmen. Now here's Barrett. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You can count on R.J. Barrett to come at you night after night. He plays with a lot of determination and at some point will lead a ball club. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Brent Canada is well represented in the NBA these days. R.J. Barrett may be leading the charge. Man, if you put together a team of nothing but Canadian players, 
you'd have a pretty strong five out there. And Barrett's a guy who might be the leader of that squad. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. Harris misses. New York Taylor. Rose outside. Back to Randall. Outside Barrett. That's it. Coming off an assist from Randall. And specifically with R.J. Barrett. It feels like he's a lot older. You know, B.A., but he's not close to 25 yet. So what we see right now, it's not what he'll be once R.J. hits his prime. Still a lot of room to grow for him. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Just hard to keep up with Montrez Harrell and that impressive energy he brings. Come on. Two shots. doubt that the way that Montrez Harrell approaches the game he is the heartbeat of a lot of the minutes that he's on the floor for any club Harrell hits them both and for the next they're shooting only 36% during the second story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first we're finally seeing some aggression and the free throw no good well it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Now here's Milton. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Clippers. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Obi Toppin. He's a capable shooter, but I like the initiative there from Tobias, taking it inside, forcing the defense back, and drawing contact. throw drops for Harris. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. The 76ers making a switch here. Melton's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Here's Rose. He's coming off a 13-point game against Chicago. Top of the screen on Milton. The three, Barrett. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. And when you're trailing in a game, it, it can be tempting to try to go for the big play. And Philadelphia calls time here. Philadelphia.
for New York. Back to Harold. And that's a foul called on Evan Fournier. That's his first foul. New York on D. Outside Milton. Harold the screen. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Makes a first. And he makes both free throws. The Knicks have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Melton against Rose. The shot off that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Oh, there's the alley. And Harrell with the strong finish. Montrez Harrell with a throw down that gets his teammates up. Fournier against Maxi. Fournier, the pass to Randall. Shoots over Maxi and Randall the bucket on the assist by Fournier. Randall's got 10. There are only two players in the league. He hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. From deep three-point range. Fournier with a rebound. New York trailing. To the middle. Here's Reddish. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Harold. And 101 left in the first half. Shot clock at six. Now Miller. Floats one up. And no good. Nice D from Reddish. Here's Rose. An important role in this offense. Averaging around 12 and a half per game. So gifted close to the rim. Rose also possesses a tremendous understanding of when to go with the flow. Now here's Maxi. The lead is two. Harold is screen on top of him. The Sixers again can't hit. Surprising to see him miss here. But they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. for him. Launches the three. That one is off. Well, you like to see Reddish out there showing his kind of tricky on the defensive end of the floor. How can I help? Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter.
Hey there, everyone. This game has been a real showcase for Tobias Harris so far. He had quite the first half, Shaq. What stood out to you from his performance? Ernie, I was watching on the other games. That's Kenny. What are you doing? Man? Okay, okay, you got me. I was watching 2K TV. Get off my back, man. And we return our attention to tonight's featured game as the Knicks had a closely contested first half. Uh, they've been pounding the ball inside, getting easy buckets in the paint. This strategy is diesel approved. Shocking that one of the best interior scorers ever likes bully ball. Because I'm the biggest, baddest bully ever, Ernie. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. When you look at Tobias Harris in this game, he's been everywhere. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. Taking a look at the 76ers. Harris and Embiid are playing up front. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Stiebel in at the small forward. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. And the Knicks with the possession here after the Sixers picked up the basket a moment ago. Inside, Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. It's all about getting ideal positioning. Once Embiid gets it, the D is toast. Brunson finds Barrett. Now here's Randall. It's good. He's 6 for 12 from the floor. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks so much, Brian. Well, the Knicks trying to find their way back to the playoffs. Coach Tom Thibodeau said, you can't look backwards and you can't look too far down the road. You just have to take a look at today, walk into what we have to do, and focus on how we can be better. Back to you. No shortcuts to greatness, Allie. Thanks for that. Shoot two. First free throw is good. A nightly triple-double threat. Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. Harden hits them both. New York shooting a nice 50% for the game. Outside Barrett. To the inside. Here's Randall. That shot is off. Oh, great D that time from Harris. And for Julius Randall, back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career, Greg. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. To give Randall credit for coming back and carving out a great career. And then Embiid throws it down. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of it. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Now here's Brunson. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Quickly's got seven points. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Tries a 10-footer. Count the basket. He has six. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's quickly. 
Nice shot from 10 feet out. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You need to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Harris. 15 points in the game. Pass to Embiid. Harden against quickly. They clock. The Sixers need to pull it up here. Sends it home from three-point land. Embiid's got nine points now in the quarter. Hey, whatever coach told him during the break is beginning to pay off. Right side, Robinson. Quickly, outside. The three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got a six rebound on the night. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Harden finds Harris. Embiid, a screen on Randall. Harris passes to Embiid. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. And the moment MB gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Too strong to stop without fouling. Shoot two. The free throw drops for Embiid. A fun-loving player on and off the court, Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. Tucker's checked in for Tobias Harris. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. For New York, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Robinson, a screen on Tybal. Barrett passes to Robinson. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Tybal with it, now quickly defending. Pass to Tucker, and here's Harden. Back to Tucker. Here's Thibel. This one for three. Quickly with a rebound. To the paint. And it's Randall that time. On the assist by Quickly. Quickly's got four assists in the game. Philadelphia has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Harden against Quickly. Nice shot by Harden. Harden's gotten four this quarter. Inside Harden is such a tough cover. You know he's clever enough to turn any good defense into a foul. New York calls timeout. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
Blake. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got seven rebounds in the game. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Pass to Tucker. Outside Maxi. The three ball. The Knicks with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Brunson. And he makes it. Brunson's got six. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. And here's Tucker. Outside Maxi. Now Embiid. Robinson defending. Shoot from the baseline. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Knicks have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Quickly outside. From deep. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Outside Maxi. Over quickly. The Sixers again can't hit. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And that one's good for Brunson. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. Outside Maxi. Up top hard. Puts it up. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. 15 points in the game. Just strong awareness from Harden on the catch and shoot. He knew exactly how much time he had. Quickly finds Robinson. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter in a sniper. So for the Knicks. Toppin comes in for Randall, and Rose is subbed in for Quickly. Milton's checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Maxi. And here's Brunson. He's got nine. Five to shoot. Here's Robinson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The coaching staff likes this. Mitchell Robinson down there and drawing fouls. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the 76ers. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Spacing the floor and rising up with that confidence. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. That free throw, no good. It didn't take long for a lot of people to take notice just how dominant a defensive player Mitchell Robinson was going to be in this league. Reddish is checked in for New York. Fournier comes in for Brunson. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harrell's checked in. And the second free throw is good. The 76ers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Melton outside. Pass to Harden. Back to Melton. Fires from deep. No good on the shot. So New York will take it the other way now. This might make you feel old, but Terry Rose won his MVP over a decade ago. 2011 season. Whew. That was something special. There's a screen by Toppin. Fournier with the ball. Harrell picks him up. Here's Toppin. Banked it in off the glass. And that's the right play, an excellent decision from Evan Fournier. The Sixers leading. He rose in 2011. MVP for his hometown team, the Chicago Bulls. Another year, top 10 in scoring and assists. He just won that vote in a landslide. That Bulls team winning 62 games. And it beat up on the loaded Eastern Conference. That was LeBron's first Miami season. Boston still had the big three. Eric Rose was getting it done. Philadelphia has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Ooh, Robinson with a block. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Harrell against Topham. Pass 
to Harden. Now here's Embiid. That shot off the mark. Good work defensively by Robinson. Reddish passes to Rose. Over Harden. Rose can't connect. Philadelphia shooting at a 44% clip in the third. Harden with it. Picked up by Fournier. Pass to Milton. And a nice finish on the layup. And the 76ers lead by six. Assertive move. You could tell the game's heating up a bit. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. New York has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Now a timeout called by New York. Here's a rundown of the teams that have not wasted their opportunities at the line in the last month. Second, the 76ers. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from the charity strike. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Pulls it down. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Melton with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Up top, Harden. Pass to Embiid. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. And now an eight-point Philadelphia lead. He's putting on a show this quarter. And the team is feeding off his energy. Now Robinson. Here's Fournier. Melton covers. Fournier to pass to Rose. Six to shoot. Robinson in the post. MD covers. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out, but it's just not enough for that length. Rose against Harden. Pass to MB. Robinson with a steal. Here's Fournier, giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul. Tobias Harris checked in for Joel Embiid. 
left to play in the third. Here's Melton. And the bucket is good. There's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Rose, the pass to Robinson. Up to Rose. Robinson, a screen on Harden. Here's Rose. Here's Robinson. That one falls. Nice feed that time to Rose. Robinson's got 11. Robinson is very fluid as a big, and he comes off that pick ready to shoot. Harden against Rose. Now here's Harden. He's covered closely. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. Counted from distance. Harden's got nine points here in the second half. Well, Harden will do this all day if the defense lets him. His efficiency from the arc can be devastating. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Quarters behind us. Let's see what this fourth period holds in store. New York trailer. Topham plays the four with Randall in its center. Emmanuel quickly is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Barrett in at the three. The small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Here's Randall. And out of bounds. The 76ers will take it. All right. Here's what the Knicks have lined up on their schedule. On Tuesday, they head out on the road to face the Mavericks in Dallas. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against the Spurs in San Antonio. You take a peek at the slate, always difficult to do the Texas Triangle. Always quality teams in the Lone Star State. I bet they'd be happy taking two out of three. Brunson against Maxi. Yep, count it. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Runs it against Maxi. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Tyrese Maxi. Eh, good whistle there. And Jalen Brunson. He's a great option on the floor, Grant. Oh, yes, he is. Can attack from different levels of the floor. Solid shooting threat from outside. And gives you another playmaker to initiate the offense. That free throw good from Brunson. Well, one of the free agent moves that wasn't surprising was Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of a team. He's perfect from the line this time. Now here's Thibel. Outside Tucker. Pass to Maxi. Randall against Harris. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Tucker with the ball. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Toppin. To the inside. Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. And you wonder if the coaching staff is encouraging these kind of nights and aggressive play from Randall to take over. Harris passes to Maxi. And Obi Toppin gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul so far. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. So it's Philadelphia now. They've led by as many as 11. Here's Melton. Quickly with the rebound. Not great numbers. A great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And we're about two minutes into the fourth. Now. There it is. Screen on Melton. Five on the clock. Quickly passes to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Now Randall with a great effort there. Up and athletic and at the rim. Pass to Harris. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here at the fourth. Back to Maxi. Over Brunson. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Maxi's got four points now in the quarter. Mid range, plenty of room for that release. He's going to take those all day long. Quickly against Melton. And it's quickly with a miss. The 76ers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Maxi. Tucker with a screen on Brunson. Inside. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. The 76ers making a switch here. Embiid's checked in. against Barrett, and the foul called on R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul of the game. Second team. Dibble on the wing. Clock at six. Back to Melvin. Over quickly. We've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on P.J. Tucker. That's his first foul of the game. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Randall. Drives to the hoop. And Embiid with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Quickly, he's got space. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. The teardrop, and Maxi puts it in. Maxi's got six points in the quarter. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far, just not himself in the second half. Bible passes to Embiid. Now Harold. Melton outside. Embiid inside. Working on Robinson. The jump hook. Robinson with the block. Look how sturdy Embiid is as a shooter. Even with the foul, he's able to put the shot up. Two shots. Shooting two. That 
Free throw, no good. It's no good. It felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battling around to get himself to the free throw line. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Now Melton. Pass to Harold. Now here's Embiid. Robinson defending. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, that was clearly a foul. Shooting two. First one falls. And Embiid drops them both. The Knicks have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Pass to Barrett. Down low. Randall inside. Harold defending. Randall, good. Randall's got 20 points. Look at what he's doing here. It is hard to imagine him playing much better. Melton passes to Maxi. Randall pulls down the board for New York. They've got three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. And he's going for the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. That's to Harold. And Harold throws it down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Dival against Barrett. Back to quickly. Out to the right wing. Randall on the screen. Six to shoot. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his fifth assist in this one. So creative on offense. Randall getting more and more comfortable handling the ball and understanding where he can get to on specific possession. Embiid against Robinson. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Embiid's got 17 points here in the second half. Quickly outside. Here is Barrett. Back to Quickly. Handle the screen on Melton. Quickly with the ball. Harold picks him up. Again, the Knicks. Good for two more. And Philadelphia calls time here.
comes in from Elton. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He spoke to his club like they were down in a score. He told them, quote, we haven't won anything yet. Don't go easy. We've had all the leads like this, and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Back to you. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. The 76ers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Maxie with it. Now here's Harden. That one's good. He's now 8 for 13. I love it. When Harden shoots, he commits. A little contact isn't going to upset his mechanics. Here's quickly. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. Harden's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Maxi. Embiid against Robinson. Embiid passes to Maxi. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jalen Brunson picks one up. Shooting two. Free throws good from Maxi. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's New York with it. A 12-point game. Quickly up top. Defended by Harden. Quickly passes to Randall. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Randall's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Here's Embiid. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pass to Barrett. Yeah, a big finish by Robinson. Now this kind of balance is going to make a huge difference in that day. Barrett's improvement in the league. Not the score, and the be the assistant. Here's Embiid. No good. A bit long that time. The Knicks have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. To the middle. Robinson passes to quickly. And it's blocked by Embiid. We see it time and time again. Embiid relishes his role as an intimidator. Harris passes to Maxi. To Harden, pulls it from the top of the key. Yes, on the jumper. Harden's got 22 points. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing Percy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Quickly passes to Randall. Randall draws the double. Outside Brunson, just five to shoot. Robinson in the post. Maxi covering. Down it. Robinson's got nine points now in the second half. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. And he lobs it up to the rim. And then Embiid with the dunk. And just a huge exclamation point on that finish. Embiid never turns out an opportunity to intimidate the opponent. Randall outside. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class heating. Maxi with a screen on quickly. Pass to Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting.
ship two. The first free throw is good. So good. So he hits both free throws. New York, they're working against the clock now. Pass to Randall. Over Harris. That shot missing. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Outside Maxi. Outside Harden. Harris with it. Harden. Six on the shot clock. The three. The shot won't fall. And the Knicks shooting about 47%. A nice number. Well, with a comeback out of range, you can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the 76ers. Hey, if you get yourself to the line and cash in on those opportunities, you paint your opponent into a corner. Yeah, they were so successful with that all night. Aggressive, fearless, whatever you want to call it. They really pushed the action and got rewarded. And with this one safely in the books, it'll mark their 23rd win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're gonna battle hard. We've come to expect big time games from him. Just another day at the office for Joel Embiid. Well, a consistent intensity is what he brought to the floor here. He hit the glass hard, and he came up with a ton of rebounds. Here's Embiid. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. The officials were right on top of that one. Two shots. Shooting two. And he drops it first. And Embiid drops them both. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. But things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. And it's quickly with a miss. Here's Milton. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? James, congratulations on a big win. But I ask you this, where does this team need to continue to grow? Uh, you know, our backbone, what we're going to rely on is our defense. And um, it's on us now defensively to be able to lock up, be able to communicate, and be able to sustain it for full quarters. And once we get that at a high level and consistently, uh, this is going to be a problem. Thanks, James. Back to you. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off as New Balance presents our player of the game, Joel Embiid.